There are some uh, Catholic bishops who have lost their way as well. Did you ever think, we have this story coming up for you, did you ever think that one day in America, Christians, including Catholic bishops, bishops, would support evil, would become straight out liars, would support wrongdoing from the pulpit? Did you ever think that would happen in a country? So we now have an America where religious people are no different than the children of the lie. They have the same word and the same action. They support the same thing. There is no separation. And yet they call themselves children of God. They're not children of the true God. They're children of the lie. We got to get our country back. God is with us. He's in, within us. He's out there, but he's in us too. And he's there to help us overcome evil. But we can't go along with the children of the lie anymore. You must be born again. You're either of love or you're of hate. I want my country back. I want my America. And we have a great chance of getting that now because God has sent us the great white hope in Donald Trump. So we now have the churches promoting evil and the children of the lie, non-church, promoting evil. This is from Religion News Service. The Catholic bishop rebuke Trump. And why? It's over his asylum changes, changes on asylum policy. So, and they, they're suggesting canonical penalties. And who is canonical? <laughs> canonical <laughs> is... When you participate in the in the church, such as taking communion or even being in the church, they don't want to give the president communion. He's well, not the, a Catholic. Yeah, the president's not Catholic, but anybody working for the president, President Trump, like keep your canonical. Anybody who supports his policies involved in this, right? Denying them sacrament and or excommunicating them. Wow! From the Only church. because they're doing the right thing by putting the country first. Right. And so explain the president's uh, asylum changes. Well, um, in the past, Obama had a policy where... The fallen Messiah. Women, illegal alien women could come up here and claim asylum because they're afraid of domestic abuse. Amazing. Wife beating type stuff, allegedly. So they're going to leave their entire country... <laughs> <laughs> right. To get... Claiming that they are domestic... Uh, a victim of domestic abuse. Right. How many women can say that? How do you prove something <laughs> like that? And why do you leave your whole country? <laughs> How about moving down to mama's house? But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> and there was an additional policy of if you're uh, fleeing gang violence. They're making that up too. Yeah. You don't leave your country running away from gang members. You deal with the gang members. So... Obama had that policy, and Jeff Sessions and, and Trump reversed that. Good. And they have a zero-tolerance policy that is making the, these Catholics scream as well. And that zero-tolerance policy is if you're, you're an adult and you're smuggling children into this country and you're crossing illegally, you're going to be prosecuted, one, for crossing illegally, and two, for smuggling children. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So many so-called parent, alleged parents are getting separated from the children that they're smuggling. Nice. And um, they're calling that inhumane. There's a Sister Pimentel who called I it, knew a liberal woman was behind it. <laughs> yeah. Sister Pimentel. Uh, Sister Ser Norma Pimentel, who was praised by Pope Francis for her for her. I noticed work. that a lot of these liberal feminist women have gotten into the churches. Yeah. And they have brought that whole feminist, godless idea into the church, secular idea. And it's changing the format. It's changing what the churches are all about. Yeah. Well, this, some of these people are males. Same Bish thing. Male bishops. Feminists. Uh-huh. Girly <laughs> men. Beta. So these Catholic people are in support of illegal aliens coming into our country, breaking the law to get here, and draining the life out of the country, all in the name of Jesus. Yep. Anyone who go to these churches, you are an idiot. You, you, you might as well stay home. You have a better chance of finding God. Sister Norma, she's talking about how 
They're separating babies from their mothers. They need to deport Sister Norma. If she nice. loved them these, this much, send, them, send her over there. Don't the Catholic priests supposed to go to another country anyway and do their Catholic thing? <laughs> That's missionaries, <laughs> but some of them may. <laughs> Here's the sound bite. What's most concerning for me is to see families suffering because the reason why they come to this country is to ask for protection, for safety. They're running away from a, a very difficult place where they find themselves suffering a lot because of the gangs and the violence that they see every day. And they're afraid for the children to face that. And they go through a lot, a journey that is very difficult. And then they find themselves here in this country wanting to ask for protection and, and for them to be separated from their family, from the child. It's, it's detrimental. And I think that that it's, I think, is the most inhumane thing that, and cruel thing that we can do to a, to a, a child and to a mother. The most inhumane thing and cruel thing that this woman is doing is standing there lying in the name of Jesus under the head of a, what is she, a Catholic priest or something? Yeah, she's, a, she's in charge of the Catholic charities of the Rio Grande Valley. This woman is evil and of her father the devil. She's a liar. I'm sick of this. And real fast. Well, you know, it's um, Steve Bannon spoke on this and said that the Catholic priests, the Catholic bishops are really bad on the DACA issue. He spoke on this back in September because they've been fighting against Trump and the immigration thing forever. And by the way, this woman's sister, Norma, was praised by Pope Francis for working with migrants. Yeah. Now, you know, if Pope Francis praised us, we're in trouble. You know, it's uh, real quick. The um, It's funny that these Catholic bishops are calling it a right to life issue. Yeah. And they're condemning Trump. I wonder if they're going to condemn the Democrat Party for supporting abortion. No, they're not. Because they're godless people. Last September, Steve Bannon told Sister Minute the Catholic Church need and support illegal immigration. I love that. Me too. The black churches are like that too. They're just about filling up the churches now for money. They care less about your soul. And now the Catholic churches are doing. This is why you got to know God for yourself, folks. Because these preachers do not care about you. They care about money and power. They're no different than the politicians now. An amazing story. Amazing. Yep. <laughs>